Hey y'all and welcome to my channel Planning with Bri. I'm Brianna Kishel and today I am going to be setting up my mom's January spreads in her prayer journal. So I'm going to show you the supplies that I'm using, obviously a journal, as well as three of these uh, Micron pens, Pigma Micron pens. I'm going to be using a gold gel pen as well as a G2 Pilot and some markers in colors of like lightish blues, some light grays, dark blues, and purples. I'm also going to be using some paper from this paper pack that I got from Joann's and some washi tape that I got from Amazon. Everything that I have or that I've shown you guys will be listed down in the description box. And of course, feel free to use whatever you have on hand. I'm going to go ahead and flip through the setup that I did for her journal using the exact same color scheme. Right here, I'm just showing you the post-it note that I left in her journal to let her know what that page was for. Same thing for this blank page right here. I'm going to leave a post-it note there. That is actually going to be her page for her word of the year that our pastor does every New Year's Day. New Year's Eve in the New Year's Eve service that he does. So anytime I make a journal for someone else, I just leave post-it notes that they can remove so that it looks like they wrote from their own prompts and they can remove my handwriting from the journal. So my mom um, wanted a winter theme. I'm going to give you a brief background of my mom and I in this journal. So if you've seen any of my old videos, you know that I asked my mom what she wants in her journal every month and every month she says, I don't know. Or even worse, she gives me like a word that, you know, is speaking to her and then I don't know what that means and I don't know what to do with that. So. That's even worse to me because she has an idea, but the idea um, that she has, I can't put on paper or I don't know how she would want me to put it on paper. So I don't, I really don't know what's worse. I don't know if it's worse for her to not tell me what she wants and let me figure it out or if she tells me what she wants and then I can't do it. I, I can't make up my mind, but while I think about that, I'm going to tell you a little bit about these spreads. So this time she did want a winter wonderland theme. And in my head, I'm thinking, oh, that's perfect. I just got this winter wonderland paper pack from Joann's. All of these pretty blue papers. Um, I'm going to use that. So that's what I did. I just picked out some of the blue papers that were in this pack that I really, really liked. I picked out some markers that match these papers. Um, and I also have like a little short about how I pick my markers. Um, just a quick story about that. I do number all of my markers or I have numbered all of my markers. I got the 100 um, count of markers from Crayola. I ended up with 120 markers. I wonder if anybody else has more than 100 markers, but I took a label maker. I labeled all of my markers, and then I also put a swatch of every single color and numbered the swatches on a piece of bullet journal paper, and I keep that as a reference. So that's how I pick my markers. Most of the times when I pick a color scheme, I pick a picture or a paper or something as inspiration. And then I pick the markers to go with it. There was a very long way of saying I really enjoyed picking out the blues and the grays and the purples for this color scheme. So after I laid down the paper, on the left hand side I used the full sheet of paper on the left hand side I kind of wish that I rounded the corners because I do have a paper rounder it is sitting on my desk actually in frame right now and I keep forgetting to use it but I didn't and it's okay I'll use it a little later on but I um, put that full piece of paper down and then I used some bullet journal paper to um, 
cut out a piece of blank white paper and stamp out one of the Bible verses that our pastor used during the New Year's Eve service, which is, rise up you women who are at ease, hear my voice. This is from Isaiah 32 and 9. The entire verse uh, that he used, he actually used a lot of verses and I didn't want to put the entire verse here. The second part of the verse does speak to daughters and yes, my mom is a daughter. <laughs> Every mom is a daughter, but I felt like this part of the verse or this part of that passage spoke more of or spoke more to the theme of the year. Okay, I hope that makes sense. But on that right page, as you can see, guys, I did kind of cut that paper a little bit short of the full page because I am going to create a Dutch door. So then I used a little bit of a piece of scrap paper that has a light gray design, a light gray floral design on it for the background of the title for the month. I glued down some snowflakes that I have cut out and colored in off camera because we would be here literally for seven hours if I showed you guys how long it took me to cut out and color all of these cute little snowflakes. So once those are glued down, I take my gold Uniball Signo gel pen and I make some little gold snowflakes to match the theme and I also take a, um, I want to say it is a 05 nib Pigma Micron pen to make some black snowflakes as well. So I decided to just draw snowflakes all over this page just to make this page pop just a little bit more. And then that's all I'm going to do as far as the decorations for the snowflakes. I'm going to add a little bit of those little curved diamond shapes, a few little dots here and there, and that'll be it. One thing I also did forget to mention is that I am using some stamps to do most of the lettering for these two pages, especially the quotes, because I was not very confident in my hand lettering abilities when I was setting this up. It was very late at night and I just felt like I was going to rush it and it wouldn't be cute. So I just used some of my alphabet stamps and I used the gray ink pad instead of the black ink pad so it wouldn't be so harsh. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and cut out the Dutch doors following the outline of the snowflakes which is going to create a very very cute effect that I've been liking over the past couple of months so um, if you're new to my channel first of all hi please make sure you subscribe but I have a video on a Dutch door that I did back in March of 2021 as well as April in 2021. I did two very cute Dutch door themes in April and you can find those on my channel and I am just really enjoying playing around with different shapes and cutouts and things like that on the Dutch door. So on this next page I am going to be setting up a spread for her prayers um, which is just a blank page so that she can go back and reflect and write down any prayers that she has for this month, as well as a space for her favorites. So this is her favorite Bible verses, her favorite quotes, because we have a pastor here and back home that she likes to watch and they both say very funny things. So maybe she'd like to write that down or song lyrics. Maybe she'd like to write that down as well. I just really want this to be a memory keeping part of her journal. Now, knowing my mama and knowing what she has asked for in the past year of me setting up her journal, I did keep these two pages fairly simple with just a little bit of room to write. These are probably the least used pages in her journal because that is not what her focus is for her journal. And that is okay. In my journal, I love to have these two pages 
So I'm kind of forcing her to have these two pages because I set her journal up. But if she doesn't use them, at the very least, it is something cute that she can flip back and look back on when she flips through her journal. For this page, I am trying to line up the glued down snowflakes in a way that they will still be seen when I close the first pages down flat or when I open a separate page, I still want these snowflakes to be visible, but I don't want them to stick out too, too much. I still want all of the Dutch doors to be in a pretty uniform line. I don't want some sticking out way more than the others because then some of the pages would get damaged and I don't want that. So I am alternating where I put the snowflakes on the pages as well as the shape and colors that I use on each page. I finished this page off with some of those black and gold snowflakes that I draw in and some light blue washi tape. Sorry, it is kind of hard to see on camera, but it is a really cute grid pattern on one of those washi tapes. It's a clear background with a light blue grid pattern. I also have a washi tape that's a clear background with horizontal light blue stripes. And then the one that I layer on top is a clear background with light blue stars and moons, which is so cute. Okay. I am going to continue the same steps on the next three pages. So I'm going to glue down some of these snowflakes. I'm going to cut them out, make sure that they are visible when I lay all the doors flat. And I'm just going to keep going. If you don't have any of these paper packs, feel free to just use the black pen, like a regular black pen and a gold gel pen, or you can use some Crayola Super Tips or any color markers that you have that are a light blue, dark blue, light purple, light gray. Use any of those colors and just make some very, very simple snowflakes all along your pages. You can do borders with them. You can decorate the corners, go along the edges. You can do so much with this theme with so little if you do not have the paper pack. I completely understand. Also, if you don't feel like um, cutting these snowflakes out or if you don't wanna do a Dutch door, as intricate as this one because it may look a little hard or a little tedious you can also just do regular tabs when i do tabs that are dutch doors i just color each dutch door either the exact same color or i can color them in a gradient so i would use a light blue for example for the first tab and then i would go from light to dark all the way down the tabs and that is another way that you can do the Dutch doors. If you are scared about cutting the pages in your journal, please do not be scared. There are two reasons why I encourage everybody to do a Dutch door. Number one, they're super cute. I mean, obviously. And then number two, if you make a mistake in your bullet journal, you can use the excess paper from the Dutch doors to cover up your mistake. It's a win-win situation. So if you have any questions about the Dutch doors, if you would like to see me do any more Dutch doors, please leave a comment down below. On this page right here, it was kind of hard to tell, but the, the spine was kind of sticking out and looking a little weird. So I used some really cute washi tape to just cover it up, number one, to keep the spine in place. <laughs> and also uh, to just make it look a little cuter. It just looked a little weird. I'm not sure what happened. I did not cut a page at all at the spine. So I'm not sure why it would be showing. I have no idea. It's very funny because I just told you guys to don't worry about cutting your pages. And then literally the next thing I say is that I'm covering up the spine on the inside of my journal. But I promise I've been cutting off the edges of my papers, nothing near the spine. So um, even though I can break anything, literally, I did not break that. Okay. It's a little inside joke for my mom. I hope she's watching. But the next thing I'm going to do is title all of her weekly spreads. So the main reason my mom wants a prayer journal is so that she can write down the notes of the sermons, which means she needs room to write every single Sunday. So that is the majority 
of the room in her prayer journal. So right now I'm just going to use a light purple marker to write the corresponding number in a light purple marker in hand lettering. Did I just repeat myself? I'm sorry. So I'm just going to hand letter the numbers of the week. That was an easier way to say it. And then every single page is set up exactly the same. Oh, and lastly, I forgot about this one. I decided to include a page for her Bible study notes because she does watch Bible study, like I said, from our pastor back home. As you can see also on this page, this is the last page of the month. So on that right hand side, I did put down some of that paper pack so that when the Dutch doors are open, you can see the paper pack and it's not just a blank white piece of paper. This is the final flip through guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.